Hi everybody and welcome to this PhD slash master's thesis template. Uh, I hope with this video I will be able to explain you how to use this template and you will uh, take advantage of it in order to structure your thesis or dissertation and it will hopefully help you in your process of writing one. So in the beginning of this template I just have a place for you to put the title of your project as um, the title of the page and then I have a call out here and we are actually going to start uh, by these three sections here. So I divided the thesis by chapters, subchapters and then sections. So sections is basically uh, your sub sub chapters. So starting with the chapters uh, I first have a table view, so this would be your chapter 1, 2, 3, all the way till 7. Obviously this is very um, very much related to your own project and this is just an idea, so you would probably have to, maybe you just have two studies or you don't have a theoretical framework, so you would want to edit this to your own uh, structure for your own subject, uh, etc. and also change the titles for your chapters. And then under percentage, uh, this is just once again uh, an idea of more or less how you should structure your um, PhD thesis in this case, uh, and then how many words more or less you should have per chapter. And he, this is once again just an, as an example for a, an 80,000 uh, word thesis. So maybe it's more for like a science um, related project. Uh, so yeah, this is just for you to have an idea of uh, what you're aiming for. And then there's a column for current words. So this is where you would keep track of your the amount of words for each one of your chapters. And it will tell you automatically how many words you have left. Then I have two columns for dates. So one is start date and the other one is deadline. So start date would be the date that you start working on this particular chapter and deadline would be, well, the deadline. Uh, then this links out to the subchapters and the sections, but as you can see one is a relation and one is a roll up. I don't know if you're familiar with these things, but basically you would want to manually add your relations. So. For example, if you want to add a new subchapter to your introduction, you will add it here and it will come up in the section. While this rollup is a property that will come up automatically whenever we do the, the, the steps further. So you wouldn't have to click here. As you can see, if you click, nothing happens. It's just for information. And lastly, I have a column for status. So. Here I have really simple statuses, so I just have ongoing, review and done. So feel free to add your own, um, customize it. One idea is to do like first draft done, second draft done, uh, things like that. So feel free to customize it to your own, um, uh, what, what, what you prefer. Uh, then there's more views to this, to this table. Uh, the first one is a board view, so this is just another way to look at your thesis, you have the title of each chapter as well as the subchapters uh, that you can see. And then uh, we have uh, the calendar with the start date. So whenever you, as a title, uh, as a as an example, I already put uh, the introduction to start today. So you, this would be where your start dates would come up. And then you also have one for the deadlines. And then I have a status view. So status view is where it says the the title of your chapter, how many words you have left, and you can move things from no status to you're working on it or is it being reviewed, um, and you can just move things around. And then whenever it's done, you just move it over to done. Uh, th so that's the status view. Um, and for this, um, particular part about the chapters that is it. So moving on to the sections or pardon the subchapters. So once again we have here um, the the chapter which is equivalent to that subchapter and then I have put the, the number of the subchapter and this is in order for 
the um, the table to organize it in in the correct order and then you have uh, your subchapters so you would want to um, for example for your introduction you would want to make one entry per um, subchapter of your introduction and once again there's your status and here you will also link to your section so for example uh, in chapter 4 which is your first study under introduction, you might want to, for example, introduce concept one, introduce concept two. So you would want to break it down um, to different sections within a subchapter, and you would you would add those in here. And once again, we've got a start and deadline, start date and deadline. And moving on, we've got also a board view which shows you the chapter, the name of your subchapter, what the status is, and all the sections within uh, each subchapter. And then the other board view is once again a status view. So you have uh, your um, your sub subchapters that don't have any status, and then you have the ones ongoing, the draft submitted, and the ones that are done. So once again, you can just click and change the name of these properties and you can add different statuses to your databases as well. Uh, and then just like the other one, we've got a calendar for start date and one for deadlines. And then finally, we have the thesis by sections. So here we have the chapter. This is pulled out automatically. As you can see, whenever there's this loop, it means uh, you don't have to do anything about it, it will just come up automatically. So that same can be said for the number of the subchapter. So these are your subchapters, which have been linked. This is the number of your sections, and this is the name of your section. So here is where you would add different sections within a subchapter. Once again, you have your status. I also have a first draft uh, box here, because this would be your first step at writing. So you would start with writing about a particular section. So this would be your first um, little accomplishment. And you will see in a second also why I do that. And then once again, we've got start date and deadline. And just like the other ones, there's a status view, um, there's a start date uh, calendar as well as a deadline calendar. So whenever we, we, we've been looking at these three uh, pages right here, but there's, as you can see, uh, this one on top that says enter thesis. So whenever you click in there, you have basically an overview of your thesis. So firstly, you have your chapters, which have your chapter name as well as your subchapters. And then afterwards, it will tell you if there's a deadline uh, for that particular chapter, it will come up. If there isn't, it doesn't say anything. It has the percentage of that uh, that particular chapter within the context of your own whole thesis. And at the bottom, it has uh, how many words you have left uh, to write in that particular chapter. For um, subchapters, the same can be said, except that now it will go further into more detail about each section within the subchapter. And then finally, you have your section. So this would be the list of all your uh, sections and then it also will show you what subchapter that belongs to as well as uh, what chapter. And once again there is also uh, present here the deadline, the first draft, your start date and the status as well. So as I said the first step usually when you start writing is writing your sections and that will obviously then evolve to subchapters and eventually your chapters. So uh, I have, uh, I'm, I'm going to go back to these two just in a second, but I have here a toggle called plan. Um, sorry, I actually um, forgot to underline this. <laughs> so in this toggle you have uh, your plan, your plan, uh, your writing plan. So here you have your section. So obviously this, these are just examples that I put. You will have all your sections uh, in here and they will be ordered by the chapter as well as uh, the subchapter. They will be ordered this way. And then at the bottom we have a calendar which includes the start date and the deadline. So for example, if you today you are going to start writing your section three, you would just drag it into the calendar 
and as you can see it comes up there and there's also the tick box to say that you've done your first draft. Uh, besides that you can also uh, choose a status and say that it is ongoing and will also show in the calendar. And if you're working towards a deadline you can also go to the deadline and then choose uh, when you wish to finish um, that section by. So this would be your deadline. And if we go inside the section, now you can see that we have a start date and a deadline. So this is just a quick way for you to organize your, um, your writing schedule, basically. And then there's two other toggles. So one is for you to put your Gantt chart, just for reference. And the other one is just your project aims. You can include other things. Um, I just like to have these ones just to have like really a good overview of the whole project and the whole thesis. So I hope this was helpful. Uh, please, if you have any questions or if something is not working or if you would like to add something to this template, feel free to contact me on Twitter. My handle is at PhD uh, Notion. You will find the link for my Twitter at the bottom here. And I hope this was helpful and I hope this helps you organize the production of your thesis. See you next time. Bye.